Wait. Wait. Oh. That's why. It woke up. That's still a wild giga. Why the hell aren't you attacking me? Alrighty guys, so welcome back to Ark, where today we are back on the island and we are actually going to be going and taming that 150 giga right there on top of the mountain. So I do want to go over a couple things here with you guys first. So I did go and I did it make myself max level. I had to go kill like four or five uh, titanosaurs and uh, the only way I was able to do that is I had to go get what was left of the Dear Jane notes, all these. I had to go get four, five, six, and seven, which gave me a good, like, 40 minutes to go do stuff. 40, 30 minutes to go kill all those titans. And luckily, I had three Hesperoinus eggs, and I also had a uh, Broth of Enlightenment. So I was actually able to get myself close to max level. Now, the only thing I am missing is the Bob Talltale's Explorer Notes. That plus five levels. Um, yeah, now I need to get that, and I will be level 160. And unfortunately, all I need to do to do that is the Overseer. But as you may see, um, my Serato is gone. And so are the ones that were in the Cryo fridge. Now, I'm pretty sure that if I would have left the mod on and then transferred over, um, my creatures would have survived. But yeah, I didn't do that. So sadly, uh, my uh, Serratos did not survive the... Was it them becoming official? I don't know what I could have done to fix it, but yeah. So I have to go redo my Serratos at some point for the genetic library. Also, where are my arrows? I know I have Trank arrows somewhere around here. I know exactly where they are. They're not at this base. They're at the underwater base. I need to go get my Trank arrows so I can go knock out this Giga. I already got my trap. I saw a do guy do this already in Ark Survival Ascended. I'm pretty sure this trap will work. I, I'm about to lose my mind. I can't find my tranks. Okay. Please, please, please. I know I'm gonna need this stuff. Anything in here? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You are kidding me. I thought I had all that stuff. I have no clue where that would be because I've checked all my my places for that stuff. I know I had a bunch of Trank. I could have sworn I even saw them earlier when I was running around trying to grab all my tech armor. Where would they have been? <gasps> you know what? I already checked you, didn't I? Yeah. It's coming back to me. I'm pretty sure I saw them in the Rhino Nanthia, but I also transferred everything in the Rhino Nanthia when I tried to fly off from Green Ob, and I'm pretty sure it's despawned by now. It's been a good 20 minutes. I'm gonna go just quickly make me a good, uh, let me figure this out. I got 800. I can make me a good 400 Trank Arrows here. Okay, so, you know what I'm gonna do for this? Um, no, let's do it on layer. I was about to say, let's let's just fly up there in the tech suit. I can see that going wrong so many ways. Okay, there is our Giga. I will show you her stats. The main reason I'm going after this gal is her 34 melee. All right, that is dangerous. Now, we're going to do this trap flying, which I probably highly doubt will work. The way I want it to. Okay. I don't like how close I'm getting to that and I can't see. I can't see a thing. Damn clouds. Oh my god. 
Look at how close it is. And I've accidentally... I can't see a thing. I, this is too dangerous. The volumetric clouds are quite literally fucking me. I don't know why they have to be right there. He has quite literally now wandered right up next to the trap. I cannot pick it up. Um, I don't know what to do. Because if I try and walk him off anywhere else, he will 100% uh, fall off the mountain and down to the bottom. Um, I'm thinking about this. Because what did I do wrong building this trap? That's what I did wrong. Okay, I see the, the one I had an air with. I'm going to do something I really am going to regret. Keep flying, keep flying, keep flying. He's fell, he fell off the mountain. That's what I was trying not to have happen. He fell off the mountain. That is what has happened. He's still falling. Alright, I'm going to grab my trap as quickly as possible. Make sure he doesn't start running up the mountain at me. Luckily, I do have him tracked. Her track, sorry. I keep on seeing him. It's a, it is a female Giga. Okay. Could I possibly... It might... It might work. Boom. Boom. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Wait for these. Are those set? Yep. There we go. That's it. That is a trapped Giga, people. Oh, man, you gave me a heart rush. I ain't gonna lie. I was told to use a crossbow to maximize my amount of torpidity he gains because the time it takes for the was it for the crossbow to reload is the same amount of time it like it takes for the arrow to give the giga all the tr torpor it can so you're technically maximizing your arrow or maybe i'm not i'm gonna wait a couple seconds after each hit see when it starts to drop there we go Make sure I can just still hit the Giga's head. 
I realize now I'm actually still flying, technically. The Rhino Nanthia. I'm not just standing on its head. I now realize I can actually use an about a crossbow. Oh no! I missed an arrow. Don't you dare start losing torpor on me, my man. I'm so glad this trap worked. Uh, I need to figure out what the name of the guy who showed me this trap was. So that way I can give you a shout out. Uh, I'll have it pop up on screen now. So that way, again, I have it. We have to get an, almost 100,000 Torpor on this Giga. Oh my. God dang it, this Giga. Why did you have to move your head? Luckily, we did not lose that much Torpor. We got this. Just gonna try and like knock him out. I'm gonna hopefully record the whole thing here. I don't wanna have to pause. Just because I think this would be really good content, like knocking the whole thing out. Max level player versus max level Giga. Perfect title. I don't think that would work. Because I'm just technically taming a Giga. I am 155. That is my max level. I can't get any higher right now as of uh, until I get the epilogue for the island for the Bob's Tall Tales. That's all I need. Then I will be max level. I miss the Giga's head. 25. We're a quarter of the way there. We are about a quarter of the way through our arrows. We're actually a little under a quarter. Which is real good. Dang it. He keeps moving his head because he's trying to bite. You're almost knocked out, my man. A little bit longer. You know what? I just remembered something. I actually have to go quickly check on my steaks that I have on my smoker because I don't want to overcook them. Luckily, though, with my smoker, uh, like it takes like an almost an hour and a half to get them up to temp. But they get a nice smoky flavor with them. So, I gotta go check that real quick. I'm gonna quickly just hit pause on the game and pause on the recording and then we'll be right back. Okay, we're good. Uh, my stakes only need about another half hour. I missed my arrow because I was just mashing the left click. There we go. We are uh, almost 40,000 Torpor. And we're about to hit it. There we go, 40,000. Hopefully, this doesn't take too much longer. We're halfway there. Or essentially, we're really, really close to halfway. Another couple thousand. What was that? Did he nick me? 
Where's the Giga's head? I can't... Oh, there it is. I see it moving. He hit me when he turned. That's his head. I was shooting his tail. Dang it. You know what I'm noticing? The Rhino Nanthia's uh, flight still little problems with shooting off of it. I remember this now. You could always shoot off the back, but it it doesn't come off of your shot. It comes off of where the Rhino Nanthia is actually shooting. Like where its projectile launches from. I don't know why, but it seems like that's what happens. And oh my god, the four hits that Larry has taken has taken him down a third of his health. Larry, I hope, I am so sorry, I hope that I can get you some food when I get home. I might actually have to go on a food run. I should have probably harvested some of those titanosaurs I killed yesterday. Uh, that would have probably helped with some of the meat problems I'm having now on uh, the island. I just haven't fed, filled any of my feeding troughs in a hot minute. So, Also, I, out of instinct, just pause. Sorry, I want to get this thing entirely recorded of the tranking process. Because I feel like this is good content. Me just tranquilizing a 150 giga until it passes out. I really hope this works. There shouldn't be any problems. He's quit moving on me. He quit biting as well. This tree is the only thing that's in my way. Look, it's a little foggy. Uh, as I said, a little. Look, it, it's getting foggy. Er, the clouds are definitely densening, densening up. I guess that's one thing I can say I loved about Scorched Earth, is that the clouds wouldn't get this bad unless you're up in the mountains. In which, that's actually now where I put my house. <laughs> is on top of a mountain. Ooh, on top of a cave. Which, honestly, I'm so proud of the new Scorched Earth base location. I love the island base location, just because originally we were in the Redwoods. I built my Redwood tree house. But then again, I just felt like, you know what, I'm trying to replicate the feeling I had back in Ark Survival Evolved. So let's move the base location to a place I've never actually built, even in ASE. So I went over to Carno Island. I've never built on Carno Island on ASE, but on ASA, that's my first base I've ever built on Carno Island. And I love it. I also thought about maybe going back to the original place I picked in my first go at Ark Survival Ascended when it first came out when I was on my old computer. And, uh, I don't know. It's fun thinking back, like, oh, how could I have done this? What kind of farm could I have set up there? Like, what kind of water, like, you know, what could I have done? What could I have built? Like, and honestly, thinking at it, I think I could have kind of replicated something similar to what I had at Carno Island, just on the side there. That's what, have, what it would have ended up being. And except I would have been, like, pushed up against that cliff and probably have to worry about stuff jumping down on us. Also, we are almost at 70,000, so that means only another, uh, almost 30,000 more? So we're over a third, we're over a third now is what I would say. Or, uh, not over a third, we're close to a third. Oh uh, no, yeah, no, I was wrong, I, I don't know. We were at a third when I said that, then I corrected myself thinking I was wrong. I did my math wrong while I was like and then corrected myself but I was right the first time we're almost halfway through our tranks as well I guess that this didn't take as much as I thought it would um one thing I will have to do here once this guy is knocked out is run back to the base and I have to go get uh I'm just gonna go get was it the I'm just gonna go get my absolute best kibble because I'm pretty sure that's what he needs You know what as well I'm going to do? Just because I know I can craft it. I'm going to get something from the Archelon just in case I need it. Just, just in case. Alright, I want the absolute best taming efficiency possible. And I keep on, out of instinct, pausing after I finish a sentence. I'm sorry about that. We're trying to knock this guy out. Um, he is knocked down by a quarter, almost over a quarter of his health now. I think we're going to get him close to halfway before he passes out. 
No, we're definitely not going to get him close to halfway. Because we're already... What is it? Another 14,000? This shouldn't take too long. It's over 90,000! It Technically, that's over 9... It, I, yeah, the line is it's over 9,000, but this is over 90,000 now. I remember when I first tamed my, uh... Carcharodontosaurus. I named it the Cacarodontosaurus. I don't know why. At the time, I was watching a lot of Dragon Ball. Thought it was funny. That's also something else I need to tame is a Carcharodontosaurus. Um, I don't know if there's any on the map. You're so close. And you are out. That is a knocked out Giga. Okay. So, his Torpor is dropping now. What I'm going to do is swing around the mountain and quickly go get me my Kibble. Okay, I just fell off my Rhino Nanthia, but where is it? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh wait, this this one works. This one works. That one there works. That's actually the kibble that they want. I thought they were going to want the top tier, top of the line, the one that used for the best. Uh, I do have my get my was it my Giga Wiki thing Giga Wiki page pulled up so that way I could see how much torpor. I also do have Dodo Dex pulled up because uh, in Dodo Dex I can actually punch in my exact settings and it will tell me about how much stuff I would need and about how much food. In which let me actually double check how much food I need. Okay, now I've just punched in my stuff here for the Giga. Uh, I'm not gonna. It should be fine. It should be fine. It says I'm going to need about 133 narcotics, 4 exceptional kibble with my settings. So, And again, for my settings, the taming speed is set to 2, food drain multiplier is set to 0 0.7, and I am using single player settings. And here we are. We're at our Giga, which has flipped into the mount. Or is hanging off of the mountain. He's oh my god! Look at how much that torpor has dropped. That food has gone down by nothing though. Oh, maybe I should go get some bio. No, I don't have time for biotoxin though. Actually, no, I don't. I don't. I don't because I don't think I even have anything that produces it. Do I? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He's already, like, Torpor is already down by half. That's what her, it is. Ooh, let's, uh, let's just force feed you a good 30 narcotics and see what that does. Hopefully that kicks you, uh, into high gear there, into getting knocked out. Uh, alrighty guys, so I just walked off to go get my steaks off the grill. And, uh, he'd only eaten one piece so far. I didn't think it took me that long. It only took me another, like, oh, probably a good six, seven minutes. And he tamed. He tamed. Um, I don't know if you're, tor how close you're, tor his torpor had gotten in really close, because it was halfway when I walked off, but it was still going up slightly. But we got her, I can't access her inventory. Wait. Wait.
Oh. That's why. It woke up. That's still a wild giga. Why the hell aren't you attacking me? I can't use my crossbow. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. My game's bugged. My game bugged. I walked off and my game b broke. I can't... Oh my god. My The baby giga... Or my mini giga chibi just scared me. Um... I'm gonna get this thing knocked out again. Hopefully without... Losing Larry here. But... Yeah. This is what I get for leaving it unattended. It woke back up. Okay. So... Here is the giga. It is knocked out again. Now I'm just waiting on it. So... Yeah, I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm eating my steak. I'm eating supper right now. Um, hopefully I don't butter this up like I did last time. What are you... Are you actually set to something? Did you get... Yes, you actually ate a piece. Okay, this is probably about what it was last time before I took off. Um, I just gave it 40 or 50 uh, narcotics, so hopefully it stays asleep. I'm going to just start eating and checking on this as I eat. So, hopefully... I'll, I'll be here attending it now, so hopefully nothing goes wrong. Okay, so he just ate his second piece, like, a couple minutes ago. I just looked up and noticed um, while I was eating. And, uh, he's now halfway. But look, if you notice, he's still technically gaining torpor, so we should be good. Okay, so this Giga should eat another piece of food here any minute, hopefully. So, and he is still gaining torpor, which is really good. I think 50 was plenty. I don't want to get this eat on camera before I pause again. I'm pretty sure it has to fall down to about 150 or so before he eats. Also, I just realized I'm sitting here eating my steak, staring at him, waiting for him to eat. And I've been recording the whole time. You know, if you guys are wondering what kind of steak I cooked, cooked me ribeye, the reverse sear method on my smoker, alright? Now, just set your smoker, 225, leave your steak on there for about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, I highly recommend getting a probe, and when it's about like 120, 125, pull it off. That's that's the what I like it. So once it's close to your preferred temperature of done, uh, pull it off. And then what you do is let it rest. Then get yourself a nice skillet. Get that, put a little oil in the bottom of that. Get it ripping hot, like ripping. And then you put your steak down in it. Now this is gonna get you a nice crust on your steak. All right. It's going to be nice and good, and your steak's going to get a lot of flavor from it. And that's what I'm eating. Okay, he just ate his next piece, like, a second before I hit the start button. But it was also right as he started dropping in Torpor. So let me do another 50. Just so that way I can guarantee you stay knocked the hell out. And look at that. Taming efficiency, 100%. Alright, you're going to come out perfect. And please do. Please, please do. I got me a pretty nice thumbnail with its head dangling down. I'll show you the angle I got here. I look a little weird, though, when I uh, toggle all this. So let's do that. Photo mode. It's like my face wasn't loading for some reason. But boom. This is kind of like the angle I got there for my thumbnail. Or is just the giga head dangling? I thought that probably looked good. Hopefully it gets me a lot of views. A lot of clicks. You know. The good good. Um, This dude. 
Hopefully, though. We'll eat. He's only starved down another 20 food. But it's taken forever. Alrighty, and there we go. Sorry, I was eating or I would have got this guy popping up. I didn't even realize he got that close. Now, now we tame the Giga. This came out with... Ooh, 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 ooh. That is a 47 in its melee. And it's got a 43 in its stamina. So I guess my next Giga, I only have to worry about health in. And it also has to be a male. Which is a bit of a restriction, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to deal with. Because this one took the longest time for me to get to spawn in. A natural 150 spawning in, like, on, like, my settings. I mean, you can find them. But you got to do dino wipes. You got to constantly be on patrol in their spawn locations. Can I pick you up? I don't believe this thing can be picked with the Rhino Nanthia, no. But I'm pretty sure I can pick you up with a cryopod and get you back to my base. So that way, hopefully, I can get you saddled up and we can go give you at least a test drive here before we end the episode. Um, I'm hopefully going to get another Giga tamed up. I don't know if... I'm going to be able to do that soon. Uh, I mean, it took me a good probably two hours, two or three hours of patrolling back and forth from top of this mountain to the top of the volcano. Just seeing if I could get any to spawn there because those are the two points I know like every time I'm guaranteed there's going to be one there. You know, either that or there's a car car. I think I only saw one car car on source though and I just immediately dino wiped to get rid of it because it wasn't what I needed. Okay, I got everything I need now to use this skull. And I like the orange underbelly. I honestly do. And then what bam? We got us a Giga. Oh, you are big. Oh. There we go. Look at this, my man. You are huge. Come on. Why can't you break trees? Come on. Can't break those small trees. Let's see how much damage you do. You do a thousand a bite? And this is with no levels added on. A thousand one hundred a bite. Damn. Alright, the mm, stamina is shit. Well, even with 43 in your stamina, it is only get about like 10 points 10 11 points each time the stamina i think that's where i'm gonna put a lot of the points in these gigas is definitely in stamina or like just don't sprint with a giga that's probably best as well just use it as a chomp machine see like just chomp right on through look at that doing a lot of damage that was a 145 Alpha Raptor. Damn, and this Giga killed it in no time at all. Damn. Oh my. Oh my, my, my. You already got 36 levels. Holy shit. Well, we definitely know that the Gigas are worth it. I am so glad I got one of you to spawn in. Now, I'm debating on whether or not I want to try and like get a 152 so to spawn in first, just so I can get my next video done. Or if I should pro... Tuna. Or if I should probably try and go get another Giga, so that way I can get my Gigas all done. Uh, I don't want to have to spend time breeding Gigas, though. Just to get the perfect Giga. You know? That's a lot of time I don't want to waste. I'm going to get about a thousand stamina on these. That'd be nice, but I don't think I'm going to do that, because 36 points. About, I think, 40 points there just got me. 600. That's a lot of the stamina. We don't want to have to do that. I'm pretty sure this thing should one-shot a lot of things on the island. Love bugs. It took a couple bites there. Um, Let's quit sprinting. I drained all our stamina. Can I walk around the gate? Oh, I absolutely can. Oh, I can just about walk around the gate before the Giga ha like can't touch no more. Look, at it just barely touching. 
It's barely having to swim. If I back up and like say hit a rock, there was a spot there where, boom, park him right there. Giga's head is underwater. <laughs> that is, that is kind of funny, I ain't gonna lie. When you trying to hot, when you trying to be stealthy. This thing actually looks scary in the water. Imagine you just see that creeping up on you, like, dun, 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 dun. Just the eyes poking out above the water as well on the Giga. That's awesome. But anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode. This is taking me a good hour, two hours. Uh, well, well, let me actually look here. I started at... Oh, damn. I started at almost 5 o'clock. It is... It took me an hour and a half to... Well, I started the video an hour and a half ago. It's taking me an hour and a half to get this video done. So, yeah. Anyways, I've been Gunjamari. Signing off.